The primary question is, how did you, the reader, feel invited in by this book? And what was it that facilitated that invitation? What happens when we read? Um, what does the imagination, if you like, do? What is the imagination? How does the imagination operate in our brains? And how is that sparked by a, a book, by a story? I don't think of the audience when I'm creating, but I do seek spaces where I can engage with the audience. You're ideally writing for an Indian audience. I felt I was writing for an uneducated Indian audience, but I know they're not going to read the book. Okay? Um, like say my parents have never read my poems and you know my mum still can't read any English um, yet some of the poetry is that, about that community so on the one hand you're aware you're doing that but on the other hand you know your audience is going to be somebody completely different um, so you play that kind of a slightly shifty game or you're aware you, you know you're writing for them but you know you're really writing for, you're really writing for them but you're actually writing for that audience I try not to think about my readers when I write all the words that I have written um, might be interpreted differently by different groups. The minute the book is finished, the minute it's printed, it lands in a far more political um, ground. I was interested in asking what kind of world is described, is implied by novels, poems written in this country, but by writers who might also identify with other worlds. Sometimes I do get a bit angry. Um, for instance, when a newspaper decides to let someone review my book, uh, someone who is not um, a literary critic, it's not his specialty, but his specialty is he knows everything about m my country of birth. So then I get mad because then I say, why would this person be the one judging my book? Because I want to be read uh, by someone who knows literature. What makes an African writer an African writer? I'm of African descent, I think there's no doubt about that. I'm Somali. Um, but there's, I think, maybe this idea that even though I grew up in the UK, that you're still, you're still very different. And I think that's a, that's a misapprehension of it. You're often asked about your identity and something which you don't, you don't think about. You don't think about, do I feel British today? Do I feel African today? Do I feel Somali today? It's just part of your everyday you know, experience and life. And you, you perceive things through all of those lenses. But you, you go to a country and suddenly it's kind of like, well, do you feel British? I do believe that it's important for my works to come out to an audience but actually boxing them and saying this is about this or this is for you know, young black women who have been traumatized or, you know, or survivors of war, you know, it, it's, it's difficult. It's very dangerous, I suppose, what I'm trying to say, to start thinking that I am speaking for a community, I am being a spokesperson for a community in that way. And part of that is the publishing experience. And you have to, you do, I'm agreeing in a sense, you do have to accept that and you have to play your role a little bit and, and know when, when it is to step back. Reading is an adventure. Reading is itself a journey. Every read that we, that we do, that we're on, takes us to a different place than we were before. There were two sparks for the project. The first is a long-standing frustration with ways in which post-colonial literature is defined. You know, you read for race, you read for gender, you, you read because you're going to produce some form of resistance or some form of writing back. As a creative practitioner myself, I have found those kinds of readings and those kinds of approaches to be very narrow because post-colonial writers, just as much as any other writer, are craftspeople. You know, they, they, they are wordsmiths. They, they, they work their language they, in order to tell a particularly powerful story or to, you know, write a moving poem, not only to put a message across.